Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Imperator Rome playthrough where I am, well, I'm now back off holiday, so sorry for the break in recordings. I'm doing this one because, strangely, I find this one easier, more relaxing to play through. I'm just back from a holiday and I'm, I'm quite tired, but I'm not, don't want to go to bed just yet, if you see what I mean. You know what I mean, I'm back from holiday, I'm tired, I don't want to do anything too taxing, so jumping into this because I'm in, really enjoying this playthrough. Um, so we've got some blockade ports from pirates, a couple of disloyal provinces, and unused trade routes, which, oh, oh, oh my god, we can actually use them. Uh, tax, 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 tax. Oh, nothing tax-wise. Um... Increase the Freeman happiness from our Carthaginian vassal there. Okay, we can't afford to do anything else just yet. We'll build that up and actually start doing a few more. Uh, yeah, my fleets are on auto, dealing with all of the pirate incursions. Oh, because of a storm, we lost a ship. Bit things are going well. We obviously have our vassal of Thrace now, and Carthage is our vassal. We've got a few vassals, basically, and slowly integrating a few of these. I'm definitely integrating these. Oh, no. No, I'm not. Why am I not? Leave them for now. We've got some starving pops. Do I really care? Not a huge amount. Uh, why do I have a fortress there? get some new fortifications around here too actually because we are inevitably going to end up with extra wars around here ok we're already dealing with starting bombs Sorry, I've been hit ceiling a bit all over the place. Uh, we're in a good position here now. Um, hmm. So they've ended up with various chunks of territory. Who are these guys actually friends with? Ah, oh, I don't have a... Mm. See, we don't have anything there, so I don't want to do anything at the moment to mess them up. I may forcibly integrate Macedon next. Well, not forcibly integrate, but uh, persuade them to join our uh, empire. Let's move this legion over here, along our lovely our Roman roads. We've got a lo 
lovely big income there, so we are going to build another uh, legion in Rome herself. Let's do that. Uh, uh, yes, slave happiness seems like a good idea for Rome. When you consider how ridiculously uh, set up it is. Right, let's have a look. Monomis Ziaredi. We want to make sure, make him somebody. God damn it, what level was he? Nine. Money is. Why can I not see him? Ah, there he is. Bald guy. Grant citizenship so he can lead our new legion. There we go. Slightly different setup than normal. Bit more heavy cav. We shall see how that goes. Um... Slightly odd shaped one too, but it's still got the heavy legionaries, which are the key things for all of these guys. Extra elephants in all the legions up here too. I can't believe I didn't capture all their territory. But no, certain areas, yeah, if we end up at war with these guys, I'm going to be vassalizing as much as I can. A splendid event. The Olympics won't seem to go well for us. We are marching down through here nicely. I get confused, these seem to randomly switch between the Latin names and the English names. I don't quite get why. Let us turn my uh, dehumidifier off, I'm sure you don't want to hear that. The unrest. I have to think. I should have more in there. Hmm. What do I usually have more of? I usually have more auxilia, don't I? There we go. What tree do I actually want to go for down next? So light infantry defense. Or navy, siege, siege. Oh, construct border fort. Uh, reduces cost. Ups discipline. Archer and light cavalry discipline too. And loyalty gain. Um, 
Whereas this doesn't really seem great for Rome, because we don't really we're not really about light stuff. Oh wow, they're already embroiled in a few wars, so I'm happy to take that. Basically the plan here is just to capture their territory and forcibly integrate well vassalize them guys. Start my integration there. We'll probably do the same thing with Athens. How are we doing on uh, diplomacy? So we've got four, we can have six. So I can do this. Stacks, stacks to do the initial heavy lifting in this campaign. Why waste good Romans when I don't have to? So we'll batter in there. I don't think it's going to take long to take out Macedon. But where was it, the one place? Dalmatia wasn't doing well. make them happier. Olives will make my slaves happier, so let's get them in there. So this isn't going to be a small war. Let's get our navies ready. Because if Egypt heads over, we definitely want to be in a position for that. Though I suspect Egypt won't jump in. I don't care about these guys up here. I will take some of their territory if, if I can, but I'm not hugely bothered. doesn't have much. I think it's time. See, it's that little bit we've got as our main ore goal. We're marching. And you two can push straight across there to capture the river. Oh, so Egypt did join the war. Make sure they didn't do anything. Let's just check just how far. Oh my god, they have a lot of people. Okay, they have a very powerful fleet as well, so we are going to hold back and fight this defensively. We will start stacking the war score up quickly. You can move straight onto there. Ooh, 
Ooh, interesting. Somewhere for us to go poke. This is our first real scuffle where Egypt is involved. Oh, somebody, something pieced out anyway. But it's it's dragged because Egypt's dragged in. It's dragged a, a few other powers in, which aren't really beneficial for us. But still, a lot of islands here we can cap get away with capturing, and those I will take direct control of. Gonna go straight to um, Syrah to capture their current capital. The so phrase is in this war, they're just not moving anything yet, but that's fine. I said, this is probably a bit more aggressive than I want to be. I don't necessarily want to be hitting everybody all the time, but, well, our aggressive expansion is actually reasonable at the moment, so. Nice, that was quick. Right, we're going to get few legions over here to get ready to do some naval work capturing islands down here. So that's actually going to be quite good for us, getting us some new territory up there. Oh, war score cost reduction is great. It means we can capture more in wars, obviously. Is Egypt in any other wars at the moment? Yes, but not with anybody big. I love the fact I'm at war with these little random things. Egypt is the only real threat. And Egypt is definitely one of the only other real contenders out there. Oh, we're lacking a governor over here. These guys didn't actually join. I completely forgot they even existed, if I'm honest. And Frace has started invading. That's good. Once we've got these, we'll sail down and we'll start we'll uh, blat those little islands and then we'll come over here and blat all those little islands to get us some more territory. And if I'm feeling brave, we may go sack a city. Mm, he's okay. Ugh, I hate stability drops. Let's stick a couple of pigs. Due to a new ruling party, we have a stability drop. Macedon has already fallen in this 
plate this campaign, so that's good. Carthage has not even vaguely got involved. That's fine. I, I honestly don't mind Carthage not having got involved. Wow, we are definitely making them very friendly with us. I'm happy to leave some of these large powers as vassals for the time being, just to give me a bit more oomph. Hmm, somebody gains somebody's arrival, who cares? Mass invasion! to integrate some people, get myself some better people, because I'm, I'm suffering from terrible leaders. to use the boat because there's obviously a fortification there. I feel sorry for all these little guys down here. Again, I have not seen an Egyptian yet. Athens has been pushed completely out of uh, Greece as well. <laughs> He's going pirate hunting. Guys can sail down here to get hold of all of that. Yeah, he'll do for now. you've taken that, you're going to pull back over here. You're going to pull down there to add some reinforcements. Uh, it's already been capped. I think stuff's going reasonably. Uh, I'd like the loyalty, please.
Because so working out which islands are which is, is quite tricky on occasion. Which islands count as the exact same place. for peace separately yet? Yes! And all her money. up improve opinion and we are now at war with just Egypt what type of war does this become odd that's what it seems to become They're a subject to somebody, so they can't actually. Have a boss. That's literally held by Egypt. Interesting. So the rest of this has to be dealt with direct with Egypt. That's interesting to know. And maybe when we decide to uh, send forces to Alexandria. fleets there get our fleets there this is it guys this is the battle on the high seas between the two great navies come on good Roman ships we are getting early victories here they've got some ultra heavy there some octaires would love to capture some of them and they could prove problematic we are actually gaining ships here which is quite cool uh, it's, it's, it's gonna go down to the line they've just gained some ships back so we're actually swapping ships a bit at the moment uh, we've got equal formations so this is gonna come properly down to the line though I think we are going to win And we are now in another war over here. Oh, we can send a lot of support to our Carthaginian allies there. While it's going to be a win, it's not a good win. Ooh. 
particularly want to be in two wars at once. They're going to be going straight there. Upping both my navies a bit. Ooh, they're not heading straight for there. If I can catch that navy now, I can finish it completely, but I am being a little risky here. Um, and they are going to be going into their coasts, into their ports, but... Okay, we actually have a really good setup here, because if they've gone into port, Come on, reinforcements. If I force them into port, this is worth it. If I win this, this is big. And we've got the morale. We've taken out their ultra heavy ships. Oh, and my um, infantry have uh, managed to get stuck in the middle of the sea. Does happen occasionally, it's a bug. Come on, guys. This, this might not go my way, actually. I may need to uh, soof peace and rebuild my navy after this. This is going to be down to a morale victory here. And all of my... Oh, my reinforcements coming in. Come on, guys. You guys are, are, are beautiful there. We've won our first victory in the other war, which I didn't even realise was going on. Wow, we have crippled both our fleets here. Right, we're going to force them straight back out. Bring the mercenary navy out. First in the counter invasion there. take them all in. They've been good vassals, so doing anything else would have been a treacherous. That is their navy gone. Why is 
Christ. Lots of old age yet. Oh, there you are. A little concerned for a second now. to uh, upgrade my navy a little bit because um yeah it, 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 it was not in a good way there okay just throwing stuff into it guys they were using the same tactic last time switch to frontal assault I can afford to pay that. I really could do getting my troops off there, but we're, I'm going to have a look around here. What we're going to do is we're actually going to start... Ooh. We're gonna have some fun, do some slave raids, land in a few places. We can always pull out. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good one. These guys are going to have no morale, so just get battered as well. Oh, oops. Let's pay attention to my other war. troops went off to let my guys get the morale back and then we'll do we'll we'll run a few raids along their coast be fair you guys can go on independent operations for the moment Look at that! And here we go. Do that just to start getting through things. Okay, no 
don't, I don't want you doing that. Oh god damn. Oh god damn it. I'm going to end that war to free up my fleet to come and help up here. But we will, we will have another war with Egypt, just not right at this moment in time. Slowly romanizing the world. I don't necessarily need to do this massively, but it's it's it is still nice to do. I'm just being a little careful about how much I do it. We got what we wanted out of that war anyway. Um what I should have done is not actually captured, released Macedon, taken Macedon into my arms until I was ready to hit Egypt. So let's compare Egypt to me. Um, Egypt has a maximum power of 644. That is probably the thing we really want, and a five, nearly 6,000 pop. We have nearly 9,000. So yeah, we are substantially more powerful Theoretically, but they are a long way. They are still one of my big rivals, guys. That lets me know they are my only real big rival around the Mediterranean. So, because uh, Phrygia disintegrated. Um, you know, these guys. Phrase was big once, but then, yeah, did its thing. Yep, yeah, you can take Carthago, please. Oh yeah, let's get rid of her. Uh, we, we, we'll go pick them up in a bit, guys. Oops. Don't want to lose the stability. just now God damn their allies As soon as we've fended them off there we will pick them up sail around and start battering here That said Carthage is doing nicely and that would be a nice little chunk of territory for me Um Here definitely needs to be assimilated. In fact, just to make a start on it. Tempted to bring them over, though Frace is probably going to send somebody in soon. Right, yeah, we, we, 
we're gonna get head over here, man them on, leave one army here afterwards, um, and get the rest over. I need quite a few ships extra. I think it's substantial for now. You know, I'm still going to go on harassment. It's still our best setup. One day, I would get permission to attack them. And that. their side here into the side here go straight for the throat and get their capital captured and just splurg over it and I've got a couple of options at the end because we have plenty of things I could just integrate them or I could just vassalize them winning this war which is good I mean we've I've been being very remiss <laughs> look at that fleet guys I really want to push my fleet up now because it, it's it wasn't powerful enough in that last war to completely dominate Egypt I want the ability to be able to just sit there and force them into ports next time round um which we don't quite didn't quite have there. I mean, he he did very well from that though. The fact he uh, is such a good general there helped us a lot, I suspect. And in we go! Massive amphibious invasion here. do anything I completely missed this war starting but it was because they declared war in Carthage rather than me oops pay more attention to what you're clicking George Go 
should get a port. Why are they not advancing? Load of bigger ships. Rather than just having it as lots of little ships. Capture this, which will stop hopefully stop them marching through quite so much. <laughs> we'll work out what we actually want to take here, but I think taking it. A big chunk of territory there for myself would be good um, especially as it opens up other places for me Guys are going to get set on a lovely auto soon. Independent operation time for a lot of them. That war is already over, showing what just what happens when you decide to take on the might of Rome. Unless you're Egypt, which kind of fought me to a standstill, but mostly because I couldn't be bothered to finish off fighting them. Um, let's make sure I put a claim on here. Ah, I spent it all converting people, didn't I? Worth it, he says, when it probably wasn't. Really pushing my navy up now. I wish I could give... Oh, there's a way I can do that, isn't there? Ah, there it is. We'll give all of that to Carfago. I could give all that to Thrace. That'd be a bit weird. Who's the other person I can transfer ownership to? Okay. They're not getting my stuff. We'll give that little bit to Carthage and we'll take all of this.
Oh wow, somebody else already had that idea though. Are these guys also in a civil war? Nope. That does become annoying because it means I can't, uh... Wait, they can't actually build armies in their own territory anymore. <laughs> it's a bit bad for them. Why is this Carthaginian army just sitting there doing nothing? That's all I want to know. This war is over. I just want to be a little careful. Let's just check how I'm doing on the uh, about to go to civil war front. Ah, we're not. So, I think we're quite good. Increase my diplomatic range, which I suspect is already fairly good. So yeah, we, we can see right out here. operations to go batter the pirates and we've got two nice big strong fleets now stab the thing a couple of times I want to make sure that is going nicely in the right direction my territory not your territory you took it what was rightfully going to be mine guys i am gonna have to leave this one here as always thank you very much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed this please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my discord and say hi there is a link to my discord in the comments and the description as well as links to my twitter my patreon and my affiliations with overclockers and humble bundle games so please check them out thank you very much for watching